the next binyan. PL. PL is an active binyan. And we call it intensive. Intensivi. You don't need to stumble upon the meaning of intensive, but we will explain it in a few words. And don't worry if you don't understand it, because in the next sections, with the examples, it will be a lot clearer. An intensive action, that means where the participant demonstrates a power that allows him to control the intensity and the continuity of the action. That's why we call it an intensive action. This binyan describes the intensified aspect of the shoresh. And we can say that it describes actions that are more intensive than simple and are more difficult to do. You can see the templates of this binyan. We have two templates, but it's basically the same. If you remember, when we studied about vowel signs, the vowel for E can come in two forms. The one form is a dot underneath the letter, and the second form is a dot underneath the letter with the yud following the letter. In this case, we just gave you the two examples. So you can see that sometimes we add the yud in between the first and the second root letters, and sometimes we don't, and we just use the dot underneath the first letter of the shoresh. Once again, of course, these two examples are in the basic form of the verb. Past, singular, masculine. Another special characteristic of this binyan is that there is almost always a dot of emphasis at the gesh, which is the dot that you see in the second letter, right here. This dagesh will almost always appear in the second letter of the root in every conjugation, every tense, singular, plural, masculine, and feminine. If you would like to learn more about Hebrew grammar and how to recognize all the different forms of each verb, join our full online course, Hebrew Grammar Verbs Master Course, on Udemy. Link in the description. Good luck!